is up humanoid nation it's your favorite mexican coming back at you today's video i'm reacting to is by Corey kenshin i got told today that this video got came out and uh yeah the title youtube racism and favoritism let's let's see what uh Corey has to say about this um topic because uh somebody had to say it Somebody had to say it. All right, so uh, let's do this. I'm gonna try my best to articulate this video as thoroughly, as plainly, as eloquently as possible. I don't want there to be any lost context. I don't wanna just look like I'm coming out of nowhere, having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious, and I'm taking this video extremely seriously. YouTube, you guys either play favorites, you are racist. They've been playing favorites since day one. It's always been like that. Our, I'm just saying, it's always been like that. They always play favorites like PewDiePie, Shane Dawson, Mosh, everybody else. Who gives a shit? If you're not making us tons of money by being these people over here, and they don't matter because they always bury the people that are not well known. It happens. Or either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my. I think it's a mix of the two because, you know, KSI is really big on YouTube, it helped him out. That's the only one I can think of. Proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? We all have. I never wanna be that guy, oh, it's cause I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening cause I'm black. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm, it could be cause of that, but nah, I ain't gonna, I'm not trying to press that. I don't wanna build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. This time, I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant and only my video seemed to be age restricted. Oh, and I damn. looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video no one else's was age restricted. So I appealed the restriction. Um, hey guys, I, I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. They doubled down. The policy team said, no, Corey, your video is restricted for good reason. We're not gonna tell you why, but it's restricted. That's our final decision. Don't you just love that how YouTube doesn't tell you anything on why it's restricted and how they can help you out and tell you what to do. But hey, if you're not PewDiePie, They'll tell you exactly what to do to fix it. That's how it works. That's how it works. I said, hmm, okay. I get with my YouTube rep. I send him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got age restricted. My YouTube rep who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression and I'm just gonna leave it there, lest this video also get age restricted just cause I'm talking about it. So I looked at that part. The first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part or at least a part similar. Now Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you Markiplier, and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber, yep. and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel, and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play, all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody. So you I go to Markiplier's they're not, they're not Mortuary the Assistant Part 3, and he had the same situation going on, and his video wasn't age-restricted. So I send the video to my YouTube rep. I say, hey, um... Markiplier has this situation in his video, but his isn't age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? He said, wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. 
Let me uh, send this to them and see what they say. Let me, let me guess what they say. We're still not going to revoke it. Like I said, the bigger YouTubers have big names attached. They make YouTube money like Mark Pie, PewDiePie, Shane Dawson, the Fine Bros, uh, Jetta Marbles back when she was doing her thing. Um, yeah, if you're not a big name and you don't have these tons of subscribers and make YouTube money, they are not going to help you out. Even though you've been on YouTube for so, so many years. But hey, that's what YouTube does. They help out. It's like Hollywood, man. This isn't Hollywood, but it's like Hollywood where they only help out the ones with the bigger names to make the most money. And have... Yeah. What do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. I already said what I said. They came back and they removed my age restriction. What? They took it off. After they already rejected my appeal, I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing, and they removed it. Okay. Now, my YouTube rep, he was excited. He was, oh, great. This is awesome. Look, Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? I they expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction, too. Nope. But they looked at Mark's video. And they use that to verify my innocence. Yeah, because so Mark, I send Mark my YouTube gives rep him money. a lengthy email detailing. So he does it pretty, pretty damning for them, and I know I'm glad to believe racism. Okay, that's yeah. My feelings about the. the I'm just saying it's all about who makes the money like and who's big on YouTube. Favoritism at play. There favoritism. was either that or some racism at play, and that I would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place. Actually, number one, was it automated or was it a human that age restricted in in the first place? Number two, who was the human reviewer? Because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal. Who was the human reviewer that doubled down and rejected my appeal? Number three, why did it take Markiplier's clip? In Hold on a second. Like, I just got to know, like, no shade on this guy, but... How many subscribers? 14.1 million. Okay, he's pretty much up there. Let's look at Markiplier. Markiplier, what do you have? God damn it, I can't write today. <clears throat> 33.4 million. Okay. That to say, like, you're not that, it's like, you're almost there, but not really. Markiplier is way more sub, so of course they're going to take his side. Anybody who, like, has a ton of subscribers, that's what YouTube does. YouTube is a harsh mistress, man. Yeah, I'm just saying, YouTube is a harsh mistress. In order for them to reverse the decision. My YouTube rep gets back with me. He wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and I tell him, I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days, and then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick, and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright struck me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. Why don't these issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding. I'm just saying, my guy, Markiplier and all them higher ups, all the big YouTubers, they make YouTube money. Logan Paul, great example. That guy filmed a dead body and got away with it. Did they take the video down? I think it's still up. But yeah, he gets to do what he has to do. If you're not a big name on this platform, they do not give a fuck about people below them. That's just how it is. Sure, there's like maybe some racism in there, but only KSI is the only black person I know that is like huge on YouTube. Tyrone Magnus, 
But who else? That's all I can think of. Then there's like guys like um. Oh, I can't think of their names right now, but I'm just saying YouTube works that way. Like it sucks for the lower end. Like sure he have, may have 14 point something, but he's not a high end YouTuber yet. They're and gonna treat him like number crap. one trending, and then they're like, "Hey, we need to stop him. We need to hey, this black man. He's getting too many views. He's he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that, Bob." Let's get back to the current situation. So my YouTube rep assures me he's going to continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by. And what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. Oh, oh, oh they did you <laughs> they dirty. They re-age restricted the video. I say no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now. And now his video is age restricted. Oh, okay. They got caught with their pants down. Okay, they at got least they got out with Markiplier. And then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that I wasn't going to like talk about this, make a video about it. You realize how bad this looks for you, YouTube. You realize how unfair this comes across. I, in all my years, have never seen a video get age restricted, de-age restricted, and then age restricted again. Have, have any of you ever seen that happen before? They nope. saw that I saw that there was some unfair stuff going on. So then they tried to appease me by de-age restricting the video. I say, wait, why are you doing that? That's what companies do, man. They try to do something like that just to get you off their back. Like, when companies want to settle with someone just so they don't have to go to court and all that. Just give them the money so we can be done with this. YouTube, man, it's a giant industry. Because I sent Markiplier's clip and then they say, oh, okay, well, let's just age restrict them both. Why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized than my peers? My pe Like I said, not a bit, so I'm not trying to pull shade on you. That's how it is on YouTube. If you're not a big name, like PewDiePie, I said this already, if you're not a big enough name, they do not care about you. No matter how long you've been on YouTube, they will not give a shit about you until you become the level of PewDiePie, Markiplier, Fine Brothers, Cinema Sins, Honest Trailers, Pitch Meetings, Green Rant, and all them guys. If you're not above those guys and you're down below here, they do not give a shit. That's the truth. Peers, and when I say peers, I mean people around my level, around my view count, just to keep it simple. Why around your is level, my okay. channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized? Especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times. And every single time I start to get an uptick and traction and uptick in activity. You here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, um, uh, 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 let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. This situation was only bad because I've been number one trending since I got back. It's been a lot of that going around with other people too. Like, they're trending for like about a week. And if you're not part of the big gas group, I know I've been beating that around the bush, but it's fucking true. If you are not part of the big group and you're just trending for a week, they don't like that. Like, come on, man. I'm sounding all conspiracy right now, but no. If you look at it, the history of it, you guys can like for a week but then they don't want to make you uh more popular so out you go and we have to make room for pewdiepie's new video and all that stuff i know i'm beating around the bush let's just finish this every other youtuber has uploaded the mortuary assistant and now they're about to start putting in some age restrictions because i called them out on some unfair behavior now i realize that when you call someone a racist that's a very very serious accusation and for that matter 
how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N word in the chat, how, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this, but I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit. How can we be sure that they take a black person's video however they see fit? How can we be sure that, that they take a black person's God damn it, you went by so quick. What is this? ...will however they see fit. How can we be sure that... <sighs> I gotta be quick on the draw. They take a black ...enact their will however they see fit. How can we be sure that they take a... How can we ensure they don't do this, I mean? Okay. You did that way too fast. Black person's video and a white person's video. And it can be the same exact video. And they restrict the black person's video, but not the white person's video. I feel I've been mistreated for a long time. I mean, a lot even of us when have. we hit 10 million subscribers and I was supposed to get my diamond play button and no one there was no correspondence these situations always coincide with an uptick of growth and it always just comes off like we can't let this black guy get too high up i mean if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm telling you that's how it i don't think it's like that like i said there's big black youtubers that came out wrong <laughs> sorry there are big time black YouTubers out there that made it and have after plaques and the only ones I can think of are KSI and Tyro Magnus. Blasphemous HD. Okay, non react non reactors, okay. KSI. The Sidemen. That's all I can think of. Oh my god. It comes off. I don't see any other YouTuber that gets number one trending many times and then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Point them out. I want to see them. I'll retract this entire video. I'll make a public apology to YouTube. I have no problem. My dad taught me if you make a mistake, be a man mm -hmm. and address it and apologize. I will do that. No problem. But to me, you know what it comes off? It comes off whenever Corey Kenshin starts doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much. We got to find something. We yeah, got to get because you're not something. a big time YouTuber. He's like, got uh, to have Biden done Biden. something. I mean, I bleep out cuss words in video games. Like, I, I literally. This is the this is the YouTuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with. I believe there is some racism involved within the policy team. And YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that. Um, they got their favorite creators. That's what I you just know, said. Log out of YouTube. Creators. Log out and go to YouTube. You'll see the people on the front page every single day. You'll see the favorites. Yeah. Count how many are black. Count how many are of people of color. So then what does YouTube try and do? They try and peddle YouTube black. They try and give us a spotlight. And YouTube black. Do you know how condescending and patronizing that is? Oh, yeah, let's give a spotlight to these black creators because we're all about diversity. All this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. So we got to give them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. Well, how about you save all that YouTube black, all that fake patronage, all that fake pandering that you guys do and when you have a black creator coming to you repeatedly saying why am i being treated differently than other creators and then you come back and oh we got to de age restricted and then oh no we got to we got i he's on to us okay we got to age restrict them both fake it's fake that's what it is i am deeply sorry that this came off as a rant, you know, in the no, beginning. No, you need I to go for to it, man. My emotions Don't worry, it's a it. good rant. I wanted to stay logical, stay on the things that I could prove. I gave you the facts, but it also turned into 
me venting the emotions that I've had built up around YouTube. Ironic that I have to upload this on YouTube, but where else am I going to upload it? You know, I worked hard. I, I built this community from the ground. It's taken me over a decade to do. And I would have just hoped that the playing field was fair. And that, nope, never hey, was. If I did something bad, then everybody else who also did that thing should get punished too. Is that unreasonable? Actually, hold on. It was fair when it first started. Or they started doing the whole payment system. It was just YouTube broadcast yourself, and you can just be yourself and just have fun. Those were the times where it was so fair. When they brought in, hey, we can pay you for these videos, then it became a fucking savage of a beast. That's what happened. I have no problem being punished. I have no problem if I break a rule that I get punished for it and I learn. But when you start, like, when it's targeted, when you're doing things, only because I'm like getting bigger or I don't know how it always seems to coincide with that situation. But that's just what it is. You know, if my YouTube channel gets shadow banned or they like, you know, they start like not sending my videos out to my subscribers or that's been done or, before. You know, a couple months from now, y'all just stop seeing my videos. We know why. We know why. I mean, those shadows behind the scenes, they control it all. They control all of it. If they don't want, if they don't want my channel, they could terminate it right now. They could hide my videos. They could shadow ban me, not send my videos out to anybody. That's why I thought long and hard before I recorded this. But as one of the biggest black creators on the platform, I want you to hear it from my mouth that there is some shady business going on behind the scenes at YouTube. Okay. Let's break this down. There's always been shady business going on in you in any company. Let's be real here. Every company has a shady business practice. YouTube favors their high quality people that make them tons of cash. The big names like Logan Paul, like I said this, I have beaten it to death and I will say it again. Shane Dawson. Um, Jenna Marbles back in the day. The Fine Brothers. Babes on a ton of shit. ASI. But if you're not to their level, YouTube does not give a fuck who you are. And a shadow banning, they do that a lot with a lot of YouTubers. Like, I've been told before, hey, I, I did not get my notification of your videos on my thing. I go, okay, I know why. I didn't want to make a video of it, but, okay, I'm not making this about me. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm I, n n Yeah. Just saying, people do get shadow banned and all that. Because, like, YouTube only wants the people that make the money. Like I said... This guy has a fair amount of subscribers, but he's not up to that level. It's politics, man. YouTube has politics. Every company has politics. Just got to work your system and like his ass and this. What you got to do, you got to be picture perfect for YouTube. Can't be yourself, which, yeah. They want a perfect platform, YouTube. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm beating around the bush about all this, but this has been going on for a long time. People have talked about it, but glad to see. It. I'm, I'm happy that uh, Corey, I just forgot his name, sorry, has talked about it, but I can tell that he's a young man, probably in his 20s. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm talking like an old man right now. But doing YouTube for quite a while, I'm used to this shit. YouTube has its favorites and there's a lot of political stuff going on behind the scenes. Hey, you want? I already said what I had to say. 
I don't know what to say. I'm just repeating what I have to say. Anyways, take it easy, human donation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito.